Some areas of South Jackson have little or no water pressure at all as crews continue to work on system issues. Last week was probably not our best week. Multiple pipe breaks, water leaks, and problems with the membrane train system have delayed crews' ability to fully restore water pressure to all residents. Coming home and you can't do the basic things that you need to do because we don't have any pressure. City engineer Dr. Charles Williams tells us the issue now is the pressure, and that is why high-lying areas like Forest Hill Road and the Youth Detention Center are some of the most impacted. He says significant progress will be made over the next 24 hours, but full restoration of water pressure shouldn't be expected until later this week. We really want to push hard tonight going into tomorrow uh, and, and see where we're at and then continue on throughout the week. Two membrane trains went offline Thursday and there were multiple pipe breaks the end of last week. Pipe breaks are common after cold weather once temperatures warm up. This now leaves impacted residents paying out of pocket for clean water. That tends to add up, you know, when you're paying for a case here, a case here, and a case here, you know, it because you, you got to have it.